Uh, hi, Phil. Um, how, how do you assess the challenge against Antwerp? Do you feel it will be similar to the one you faced against Standard Liège? Yeah, well, it's it's a top team in Belgium, uh, so it's a it's going to be a big challenge for us. Uh, but we're looking forward to the game and and uh, hope it'll be a good one. How much does your record in European football this season give you confidence going into this? Double header against Antwerp. Yeah, we're in a good place. I mean, the results that we've made so far has been good, uh, and uh, the confidence in the team is great. So, uh, so obviously that's the that's a that's a good start. Uh, but we know we have to perform at a very high level again to to get us where we want to be. Hi Phil, just what you said there about performing at a high level, your manager was saying there just how much you may have to raise your game even further to go deeper into this competition and maybe even the Champions League proper next season as well. Is that something you go along with? Yeah, I mean, we always look to improve and uh, and of course when you play when you play good teams, you, you have to perform at a high level. A bad game gets you out of the tournament and uh, I mean that's so so we all we have to get up to that level every game I just wanted to ask in terms of preparing for a game like this obviously you're going away from home it's a double leg tie but 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 are you preparing to have a lot of the ball and be the dominant team the attacking team or, or is it more let's not concede and let's still be in the tie taking it back to Ibrox no, I think, I mean, we are, we are a good team. We believe in ourselves, and 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 uh, we hope to uh, to have a lot of the ball, attack as as play as we normally do. Then we will, as in a football game, you'll always see where the game ends up. I mean, there's an opponent as well who wants to to play good football as well, and and then. So it's it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a even game I think uh, and just hopefully we will be the better side. Hi Phil, uh, do you feel that some of your best performances in a Rangers shirt have come in European competition? And are you hoping to continue that? Does that give you plenty of confidence? Yeah, well, I think I think I've been doing some good games in the in the, in the Scottish league as well but uh, I mean, the the european football is something that i've i'm used to I, i've seen playing in italy and playing even even in other countries so uh, so it's it's something we look forward to i think also the other players to to uh, how you challenge yourself against teams from from different countries and uh, yeah now, as a player and as a team, how tough is it keeping that level of performance up? And especially now when, you know, you're having to step up a level again tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, I think the easy answer is to just be always switched on in training. Uh, we, I think we've been training really good last, last few weeks and uh, to take that into the game. Uh, and remember, see, look at what we've done in the in the past games in Europe, and uh, just and that's it. Hi, Phil. Um, I just wondered. Um, I mean, a lot of people aren't travelling just now, and some of the Europa League games have been moved to other countries to neutral venues. Do you have any, as a player, have any apprehension or, or, or fears about travelling abroad at a time like this? I mean, I think we. We are fortunate to travel in a very, I say, safe, safe way, uh, very protected, and uh, uh, it's, it's. I mean, I know, understand people who can't travel, and it's, it, it might seem unfair, but it's, it's what we do. It's our job, and 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 we we'll, we'll, I, I mean, as a player, we feel. I think we all feel safe traveling. Hi Phil, I'm just wondering about these European games and how much you look at the European games as a gauge for how far the team's come in the last in the last year, maybe. 
yeah, I, I think uh, I think it, it it it's it's a good it's a good thing performing well in Europe. I mean, it shows that that we we have good players in in the Scottish league, and 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 uh, hopefully we can we can get to get another step this year compared to the the last two years. Uh, and uh, something we, we we talk about and uh, try to to compete against the best. Hi Phil, and what you're talking about there? Do you feel that would really make a make a statement if you could reach the last sixteen again? Because it's been it's been a long time since since Rangers have reached that that kind of stage of the competition for, for two years in a row. You know, this squad is kind of rebuilding the club's reputation within Europe. Yeah, well, I I think the important thing is is that we get through this this stage. And then, then we'll have to take next challenge. Uh, after that, I mean, we know we we in, at this stage of the competition, you're always going to face tough opponents. So it's there's no point in talking about the next stage. We we need to, we need to get through this stage. Antwerp are quite fluid in terms of the formation. Um, what sort of challenges does that pose for you as a defence? The so, fact that they sorry, what what did you say? Again, Antwerp can be quite. Um, they can change the formation quite uh, frequently. What sort of challenges does that give to you as a defence? That it might be three up front, it might be two up front. Yeah, well, it's we played teams before that have been playing with two up front, one three up front. So I think it doesn't doesn't change much for us. It, obviously, it's something that we will will talk about uh, during the game and. Also now before the game, uh, but I mean I don't think it changes a lot for what we're gonna do as Rangers.